All right, guys, welcome back. Today we return with part number five of Banisher's Ghosts of New Eden. So it's actually been a couple of days since I sat down and played this game. I've been busy playing and editing Elden Ring, but I'm excited to jump back into this, man. The uh, The previous episode was epic. We, uh, we killed the beast that was tormenting the hunter's camp. If you guys have not seen the previous episode, I highly suggest you guys go back and, and give it a watch. It was pretty cool. The story, the characters, the two sisters that were involved somehow was connected to, you know, the beast and the curse. I don't know. It was just really damn intriguing. And if we're going to get more stories like this moving, you know, in the future, I'm excited, man. Like, the, it was just really damn fascinating. But um, we hit the journey on. We don't really know where we're going. I think we got to go up this cliff, but um, if you guys have been watching from part one up until now, I really do hope you guys have been enjoying this. I feel like we have a long ass ways to go in terms of like the overall story and the game just fucking lagged dramatically. We dropped frames like crazy, guys. But yeah, I hope you guys have been enjoying this, man. Oh, shit. Look at that. It's beautiful. No, look at it. It looks Into like there's the valley of death we go. Damn, dude, that's crazy. All right, so we started a new quest, old acquaintance acquaintances. But there's some sort of like I don't even know what you would call that, like spectral vortex. Descending upon the town that we got to go to. But I don't even think we're going. We, we're, we're, we're not even getting to New Eating Town in this episode. The scourge troubles me. It's gone. The curse is lifted. The curse remains. The beast was born of it. A scourge made in equal measure from the treachery of the Newsmith sisters. Worse, though shaped by Thickskin's betrayal, it was driven by Kate's. Remember what Charles said. Remember what Charles said. A nightmare is the ghost of one who is terribly wronged. This nightmare's cold fury goes far beyond the Newsmith sisters. It cursed New Eden as a whole. They did to earn such hate. So we're getting a bit, a bit of a, a, some drop frames, guys, which is not good. All right, where well, I don't know where the fuck that goes. Well, let's investigate. Do not fit. Wait, is there something back up there? Damn it, guys. Oh, it's in here. I'm gonna shoot this thing. If wisps did they come back to bite, they'd almost feel sorry for these ones being caged. What are spirit snares doing out here? I believe we should come to terms with the fact that New Eden brims with demonologist craft. I have to say, guys, this has to be the most intriguing game of 2024 so far. I know it, it's only uh, March, but... I 
I feel like also too like that's, that's the unfortunate thing about like damn the game is lagging a lot of games that come out early on in the year kind of get forgotten about promises unkept covenants broken the curse has its roots in betrayal treachery that led perhaps to grief forsaken love hurts everyone to forsake your love hurts everyone kate is proof of that it's rarely so simple thick skin is proof of that interesting so i think we found the marshes guys That's where the uh, the one chick that we met in part, or at the end of part one, told us that we had to go to. What is that? about Shiza get back up Is that it? Oh shit for help if you need it. Nah, we don't need it, Antia. Not yet. But we will eventually. What we got? We got some goodies. We got some uh, green hellborn plants. I was trying to loot this before. Oh, shit. So there's an area we can go up there. That's locked. Damn it. I'll be honest, guys. I'm, uh... I got Elden Ring controls on my mind. And I keep pressing the wrong damn buttons. Right, so we're gonna cross <laughs> up. I love how you love animals. Fools don't count. No, dude. I used up all my damn, uh, Medicine. Can you find a way around the locked door? Oh, we're going to find a way, Antia. Don't you worry. Guards log. Enemy scouts spotted south. Multiple assaults throughout the day. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Interesting.
Arthur's unsent letter. I am in the doghouse. Ironside caught me sleeping, and although there was no danger, now I am punished. We cannot bury the dead for the fear of a new attack. Nice, we got a little chest. Well, let's give it a looky look. Let's go, baby. Let's see, we're gonna this. We drop down. Oh, we gotta shoot it, I'm guessing. Yep. Nope. Hold up. Nope. I was trying to reload the gun. Do you need a moment to rest? Are you insinuating I am in some way a mere human? If you are, you'd be right. Alright, so we can rest here. I'm gonna read this note on the wall. Soldier Arthur Ashton. Was there a chest that was locked? You're thinking. So are you. Penny for your thoughts. I was thinking of Kate. Of the pain in her eyes when she saw that ghost. As if her heart was breaking all over again. I can't shake the picture. According to her journal, Kate had had the courage to love a woman, but betrayed her. She must have meant this Deborah. Whoever this ghost is, her resentments extend beyond the newsmiths. The sisters may heal if they can draw the family poison. Sisterhood can be complicated. You're not big on family, are you? A family weaves its bonds in trust. If the trust is broken, the bonds wither. Sounds like someone got hurt. When I was very young, I had a friend. She was my chosen sister and very dear to me. I opened my heart. It was a mistake. I played with fire and was burned. I'm sorry. It was a long time ago. I have a new family now. I have found the love of my life. Did you? Show me the bastard. <laughs> you idiot. <laughs> Rest now. I have the watch. I'll sit by your bedside until I must go. Oh, damn, guys. All right, so we got a new skill tree, Outburst. And see, you can release a burst of ethereal power to destroy physical objects around her. Wow, that's, that's pretty damn cool, guys. Look at that. All right, so we got one thing of essence that we can use banishing deals up to 50 percent reds attacks decrease benefit manifestation cooldown Oh wow, hitting an enemy with the AT reloads the rifle. Might do that. There's some pretty cool like skills that you can unlock to make the combat even more freaking
you know, just adds a little bit of depth to the combat. Damage dealt by red is increased by his full health enemies. All right, so we're gonna do that one. All right, so we're gonna upgrade a few things before we head out. We got three upgrades available. So we can upgrade the amulets. Damage taken by Antia is reduced by 5%. Defeating an enemy with punch attack restores 20. Hmm. Got the Bane Ring. Damage taken. I might upgrade that one. Let's see. We got two different types of sabers. Defeating an enemy with melee attack restores 7% health points. Kinda like that one. Let's upgrade that. And then we have the amulet, but I might, I don't know if I'm gonna, I might just keep that for now and not un upgrade it. Come here. I want to try something. Good morning to you too. All right, we get to knock down this freaking wall. We finally get to uh, unlock that skill. Let's go, baby. I think we can break this down together. Sure, let me grab my pickaxe. Just trust me. Press and hold RT to destroy physical objects. Damn. Did you feel the way I tore the veil? I, I did. And we did it together. What did I do? You brought me focus. That's plenty. Can you do it again? Oh, I intend to. Damn, dude, that shit was sick. All right, where's the fucking chest? I know there's a chest. Oh, I see something right here. Is that it? Hmm. I thought we were gonna get like a chest or some shit. Oh, there's something up there. We're we'll about to take a look at that. Hold on, guys. Although I don't think we can get to it, which kind of sucks. It's strange place for a stockade. Thorn ground, marshy approaches, like Bannockburn, 1314, and the Scots beat the English. You won the battle, but who won the war? Dunno. It's not over yet.
All right, so we can press right trigger to use outburst in combat. Shite, do your new thing now. Yeah. Damn, let's go, guys. You'd have to die first. We got some translucent fiber. I don't know what the f hell that is, but. of yours how does it feel to use it it's hard to describe it's like an anger rush a focused burst of frustration all right so there's something over there there's something over there guys i don't know if we're going the right way i can't imagine who could live here did you feel that it's close. We got a chest. Nice. Fog, mud, and misery. That means we've hungry in 86. Not Christendom's finest, though, nor was it my own. You were different then. The amount of misery is my penance. Make a run for it! Damn, dude. The dead are fitful and angry. Something hinders them, something bitter. That's actually pretty damn crazy. That's a witch's work. Could it be Seeker? We cannot be sure. Tread carefully. So that was the chick that we met at the end of part one. The Seeker chick. Something feels off. The veil is thin here. The dead are many. So we gotta go left. I feel a draft from the invisible. There's something here. I'm as blind as a bat here. Not if you look through my eyes. The fuck? All right, can we go picking up, up something spectral nearby? I think I'm supposed to go up there, guys. Could you knock that gate down? There is no way I'm breaking this. Let's find something else then. Well, what you mean, dude? Find a way into the fort. So let's take this log. Oh. I think we have to go that way. So I do, I, th I think I do have to go under the damn, uh, Let's 
guy's shielded. Oh shit. We got rid of the damn uh, dust. Now we got access to the shortcut. Wow, guys, the entrance was right there. We're just gonna ignore the fact that I just fucking uh, missed that. All right, so we gotta climb up here. Silence and the campfire. Just what Dr. Duarte ordered. We're gonna light the fire. I don't think we're gonna rest. Marsh, cache, note, and sketch. It's like a, a waterfall of some sort. Can you find a way around the locked door? Alright, so let's lock two. Yeah, 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 man. There's something in here. I don't think we can get into there. Oh, wait, there's something right there. Nice. I don't know why we couldn't just, like, knock that out from the other side, but... What is that? A strange wooden figurine. Oh, okay. 
So I wonder if there's like unique things that we can sell. Trouble ahead. Easy as pie. Nah, but you can't cook. Red, there is something wicked placed upon this. I can sense it. You can just sense it. It's hidden, even for me. But I can hear its dark will. Like a curse, or a spell. Curse or a spell, eh? Maybe Seeker could help us with this. We can't access whatever the map is. Still impressive. Said something. Ah, uh, the banisher who died for her novice. Ah, the witch's novice. Ho oh, there, Antea. Are you not surprised to see me? You're a little early, but no, not surprised. On my return, Ceridian told me our poor wee banisher would turn up haunted. A haunted banisher. Well, it is funny, isn't it? What was that thing you fought? Thing? Oh, him. He's a bloody nuisance is what he is. Are you badly hurt? Tangled with old Mossad before. A couple of minutes to myself, and I'll be fine. Ceridian knew about Antea's ghost. Obviously. Not very bright, is he? If she knew Antea was around, why did she not tell you to tell me? Ceridian withheld that information from both of us for a good reason. Better trust her plan. Death is a part of life, Banisher. You know this better than most. I suppose she didn't want to break your heart again. You tended to him. Thank you. Ugh. Oh, I'm a good novice. I do what I'm told. You look like you need a moment. Can we help? <laughs> Thought you'd never ask. Some of my spirit chasers went out. Ugh, that's how old Saul crossed the hem. The hem? The hem. Where the fabric of the living world meets that of the dead. Ah, the veil between the visible and the invisible. Whatever soothes your soul, Vanisha. Rest, heal. Tell us how to fix the spirit chasers. The spell is cast. You need only light them. Be careful. Old Mossad won't have gone far. Oh, I'll sit down now. Good luck. Have fun. Alright, so we gotta light the spirit chasers. We gotta light so, three of them. How do we do this? We light the spirit chases with flint and steel, I guess, I think. Useless. Relics of a colony, I'll wager, that long ago failed. He really doesn't like these things. Me. Watch out! Expected position! 
Get out of the circle. Ah, that specter's looking for a body. Here's one more. One more to go. Creeping ivy. Always hate that these sun thumbs make us. I don't know if we can hit that. Where is it? That thing Seeker is fighting. Who do you think he was? He looked like a soldier. Maybe this was his fort. All right, now we can li light this last one. Is that the mole? Don't count on it. That one next? That one next. This should be enough. There. Yeah. Witchcraft is easy. I don't know what the fuss is about. I'm sure your witch friend would agree. I think I'll just tell her what done. What wasp crawled up that spectre's arse and stung him angry? A lost battle? A betrayal? Cowardice in the ranks? Who knows? So it seems like the spectre we're seeing is somehow related to, like, the, the fort here. Which would make sense. Alright, so we gotta go meet up with the Seeker. The seeker's vanished. She does that. She's over there. If she's down here. I have a feeling we're gonna fight that damn uh, specter. Did I see you talking to a crow just now? Yes and no. All ready to go then. Good. She's waiting for you. Go where? To see your mistress. Ceridian. Yes. In a boat. It'll be fun. No, we're going to New Eden. The nightmare's grip on the world is too strong. The fog is too thick. You cannot enter its stronghold. There's no way back to the meeting house. Not yet. And not without help. We've done fine on our own so far. You're dead. Maybe you're not doing quite as well as you think. You're blunt, but I take your point. We'll talk to Ceridian before we move on. That's better. Follow me. Careful. Don't rock the bow. Have we far to go? How far is far? Don't worry. You'll be safe. Safe? The mire is home to many angry spirits. <laughs> but my mistress keeps them quiet. Dead quiet. That spectre you fought looked like a harvester. Banishes and their labels. He'll surely be back. So will I.
We got some skip frames there, guys. The nice. veil seems thinner here. Always has been. We call them the Maya Marshes, but the nearby tribes call it the Ill Mouth. Stay too long, you'd get sick. Is that why Ceridian's wards wane faster than they should? That is because she is dying. I'm sorry. Life's a journey. Death is but one step. Spitting facts, guys. This is almost as lovely as that ride through Hedengracht. All we're missing is the hailstones and the Russia at our heels. I'm sure we can arrange something. You do plan the best escapes. The soul soul. What does he want? Destruction. Bloodshed. Ceridian's head on a plate. They must have known each other once. We could help you banish him. You banishes are so arrogant. He's Ceridian's business. Best we don't interfere. Right, so we can keep asking her things. What can you tell us about your mentor? I could tell you quite a lot. But I'm not going to. She's a very old witch who's tended this very big garden for a very long time. That's it? Believe me, that's more than enough. We've never faced this many spectres at once. Spectres are drawn to you two. Like moths to the flame. Why us? Dunno. Feels like something powerful finds you interesting. And this game is something else, guys. Wow. Welcome to Ceridian's Island. There is much power here. Oh, you noticed that, did you? Like I say, welcome to Ceridian's Island. She's at home, and expecting you. Follow the path until you find a black pond near ancient ruins. I'll see you there soon enough. How does she do that? It's a trick, right? There's more to that one than tricks. The girl is gifted. Why didn't she just walk with us, guys? Why does she gotta fucking, like, constantly be jumping and teleporting herself through the damn... What is this? Banisher rule number three. Remember Whiz Beach Bog? Hi. I'll go put this thing with a stick. Alright, so we're gonna meet up with the main witch. Wow, dude, uh, that was a uh, wow. Okay. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, I did. My aim was way off. Is there something in here? Wait, there's something down here, guys. We won't take a looky look. And how many I feel like this game I feel like you're supposed to kind of like play through most of this game and then go back and revisit a lot of the uh, POIs in the game that's what it's feeling like because we come across so many different obstacles that we can't unlock 
Oh, shelter with a damp and itchy straw bed. Just how I like it. So we're going to light that bad boy. I don't know how we can defeat that. I think we're going to learn that fairly soon. If I had to take a guess. I dolls. Witches do like to be creepy. As a child, I made dolls just like those. <laughs> I bet you did. So, like, since this is her island, are there... I'm guessing there's no freaking specters on it. Seeker's Black Pond. I can see why they call this the ill mouth. So that's where that lady teleported. What in. is that? Antea? Well, Antea just disappeared. not quite true. I knew who I was, it's just... I was lost, and I had nowhere to go. I had no when to go. Does that make sense? What? Time lays traps for the dead. It's never fair. His voice was a beacon. The light in the darkness that led me back to me. And to the world. You have a powerful connection. You two, or will have, or had, possibly all three. And here he is, the other banisher. Greetings. Good day. Come, sit. It's been too long. Have we met? Of course we have. Just now. Or so later. Decades ago. <laughs> Never mind. It's good to see you, Red McRae. I told her our story. I hope you don't mind. Such an ordeal. I'm so very sorry you have to go through it. How hard it must be for you both. I... thank you. But now you're here together, and I'm glad. Because you will only be able to end this together. Who are you exactly? Who are you exactly? Who is Seeker? We, Banisher, are witches. Aye, that much I knew. But why are you here? Why New Eden? Are you linked to the Nightmare's wrath? She has no grudge with us. We are caretakers. Shepherds of the dead. Keepers of the invisible. We are also scapegoats. A convenient place to put the blame for the world's ordinary evils. We must reclaim Antea's body, but Seeker tells us the meeting house can't be reached. The fog cannot be crossed. Seeker is right. The fog is the nightmare. The nightmare makes the fog. The nightmare makes the fog, you mean? The fog is the nightmare. The nightmare is the fog. 
Each grows the other as their influence strengthens. It taints everyone all through New Eden. It clouds their minds and distorts their vision. But you have already cleared the Darkwoods. The work has begun. It must continue. Why have we found so little native presence in New Eden? They have been here, but they have never settled. Wise men and women know that the region, the Maya marshes especially, are rotten. Is that why you settled here? Here, the hem is thin and frail, and the Maya rich in agitated spirits. It is also secluded and hard to find. Both excellent reasons to remain. Here, we may hide away and mend the hem. You brought us here. Why? You have many questions, and I have little time. Your novice mentioned it. I am sorry. <laughs> I am not. Soon I'll be one with the trees. Root and bark, but that is not why I asked you here. Dearest, dears, the path ahead is yet unclear, but know this. If you are to defeat the nightmare, your hearts must be open. Open, of course, to each other. No barriers. Your bond must be strong. How can we defeat it? How can we even begin to match its power? You surrender. Unconditionally. To each other. When you died, dear Antea, New Eden crumbled. But some yet live. Seek them out. Help them. The nightmare won't like that. No. You are, after all, a threat to her existence. And rightly so. She believes you cannot reach into her domain. She is wrong. There is a way. The Void. A dreadful place beneath both the Incarnate and the Invisible. When you have learned to walk the Void, you may use it to enter the Nightmare's den. First, you must free the people of New Eden from her grip. To reach New Eden and retrieve my body, we must help the very people who created the Nightmare in the first place? Yes. Excuse my lack of enthusiasm. Can we not just go back to the meeting house and do our jobs? You must release folk here from her grasp. Only then, through the void, may you reach New Eden Town and confront her. How do we access the void? Is there a ritual? In places, the void is breached. Follow the beacons, do not stray, and all will be well. Our seeker crafted you a tuning key. With it, you may open the breach. Don't linger. Time is fickle. All right, so we... Oh, she actually has a shop. By the beach as I drowned, you sent Seeker to find me. How did you know where to look? Are you asking an old hedge witch how she knows what goes on in her own garden? The woods and rivers are full of friendly claws, and feathers and scales. I always know what I need to know. I guess that's the best answer we can expect. It is the best of all those I've tried, dearest dears. We recently came across a cursed item and thought you could help us cleanse it. Really? Why us? Well, you know, spells, curses, witches. 
I was teasing. How fun it is to see you squirm. There are many ways to enchant an item, or dispel its curse. Seeker may be of help. Go talk to her. She likes to tease you too. The hell? The nightmare in the meeting house was by far the most powerful ghost I've ever faced. From where did it come? Unforgiving wrath is a bottomless well for vengeful spirits. But in this case, I suspect an even more vile source involved. We know the beast was linked to the nightmare. We're not so clear on how. Through the beast, the nightmare inflicted its curse upon the settlers. The beast was its avatar. I'm sure it has others. What are they, exactly? They are... manifestations of her power. They may also represent her only weakness. The Nightmare's spirit was shattered by the violence that created it. Properly studied, the pieces may provide the key to lifting her curse. What do you know of Deborah? Not much. I have avoided the people of New Eden for decades. I do know she was tried for witchcraft. Was she a witch? Was she one of yours? Would it matter if she was? She was no witch. She was a woman. A victim of the basest of human fears. Interesting. Alright, let's see what she has, guys. Would a hedge witch have something interesting in her swamps for a banisher? I always have, and I always will. Damn, dude. What is this? Elite gem. Elixir attire. Hitting an enemy with a rifle increases the damage of the next manifestation by 50%. Damn, guys. Can we sell anything? Damn, we need like 800 to buy this. We don't have nearly as much. And she's got weapons too. All right, well, we can't buy any. Well, we could, but... Thank you, Siridin. We'll be off. Before you leave, tell me. What did you choose? What do you mean? Each of you made a promise to the other. What was it? What did you choose? I chose to go. Mm -mm. How difficult it must be to follow this path. The greatest of the great mysteries elude us all. But have faith. For there to be peace, there must be an ending. The well, that was... key is on the table. In the void, it will protect you. Seeker waits at the pool to show you the way. Well, that was quite an interesting... Funny-looking spinning wheel. Do you weave with it? Of course. <laughs> I weave essence, Red McGrath. Quite an interesting conversation, guys. So essentially, we have to help out the people of New Eden in order to lift the curse. Witchery feels unnatural, dangerous. Banishing, of course, is famously safe. All right, we got a book too, Songs for the Moon. All right, so we got some more goodies. Help yourself and take all the help you need. Oh shit, equilibrium. 
Let's see what that is. Damage dealt by Red and Atia is increased by 25% against wounded enemies, but decreased by 90% against full health enemies. Oh. That actually might be... Pretty useful. I might actually equip that one. Right, so we're going to talk to Seeker. Damn, it's so crazy, guys. Kind of going in and out like that. Alright, we're going to be there in a second, Seeker. Just don't go vanishing on us. Ceridian gave us a tuning key. Now I know how you pull your little disappearing trick. It's no trick. It's what we do to survive. Too many bastards out there want us dead. So what we saw on the other side of the island, that was a void breach. Yes. You'll be using them too. But not this one. Not yet. There's another one, a little ways off, in the back of a cave. Use that one for now. This one is special. It's the last and only way into New Eden Town since the bridge burned down. We could go back to New Eden right now? Why would you want to do that? The Nightmare is strong. She has New Eden by the proverbials. Loosen her grasp and maybe, just maybe, you can walk through that breach and live. All right, all right. We get it. You have your tuning key. Hold on to it for dear life. That shouldn't be a problem. Once through the breach, there's no turning back. Keep going and don't look back. Right, we found... Oh, so that's the side quest that we can ask about. We found a cursed object. An object? What object? A chest. Locked and evidently cursed. A curse could mean different things, depending. What do you think happened? We found it in the wilderness. We think maybe someone bound a spirit to it for protection. Ah, I do believe you found a chest belonging to Fear God. How do we get it open? Why would you want to open it? That's demonology, and I'm not one for stepping in no demonology. Even if old Fear God wasn't the worst. But from what he told me... Fear God Waterbury, the man, not his ghost, kept a ritual of unbinding in his breviary. Do you have this breviary? No, but I know he can find it. He spent his last years in seclusion, deep in the dark woods. Go northeast from the hunter's camp. Keep to the east side of the trail until you can turn south. You should come to a clearing. He had a hut there. You forget things sometimes, so here. I'll write it down for you. Nice. All right, about the void. Void walking. Can you tell me more about it? I use it to leap from one breach to another, as Ceridian taught me. I don't dally, nor should you. Why not? The void is terra incognita. I suspect Ceridian knows, but isn't saying. Bad sign, that. Very bad sign. All right, so we're just going to say goodbye. We'll be going. Hope to talk again soon. Yes. I do so enjoy our little chats across the hem. <sighs> Let me get this right. We are looking for a breviary belonging to a demonologist that Seeker met after his death. All this in order to learn how to cleanse malignant spirits bound to cursed objects. Remember Balthazar H. Frenhofer's teaching. Efficient, adaptive, versatile. All right, so we're gonna enter. We're gonna enter the void, guys. Should be over here. Well, this should take us to a new section. Is I'm this Seeker's cave? Only one way to find out. I'm assuming, assuming we can always come back to this location. Wow, they went. 
So Ridian prepared everything you'll need for the ritual. Take them and next time get your own ingredients. All right, so avoid traveling. Wow, guys, what? Oh my God, where are we? Remember what we were told. Follow the beacons. Move fast. No looking back. All right, so we're going to sprint. Follow the beacons and sprint. We're like in the void, guys. It's crazy. This place looks barren. Lifeless. This is the realm of the dead. This is the underworld. Let's not linger. That's crazy, guys. What the hell there, is that? A way out. It's you. I'm there. What the? What is going on? I know that voice from long ago. I banished its owner. What does that mean? It means we must leave now. That's crazy, dude. So this is like the land of the, the next dead. Beacon is dead. Well, what new abomination is this? I'd say a sorrow used as a sacrifice. That's all I've heard of. You bastard. It's coming for you. I don't know, but we need to go. What in the hell was that, guys? You have learned that 
Ceridian's key was supposed to get us through unnoticed. I don't know. So essentially, it's like fast traveling. We're gonna do find out on the map. So let me pull up the map real quick. Like, where the hell did we jump to? Okay, so we jumped to the other side. That's where the marshes are. Reach the bridge to do eat in town. Hmm. Okay. But I think we're going to end it there, guys. I feel like this one was more of a slow-paced sort of episode compared to... Especially compared to part number four. That was, was a little bit more action-packed. We were, you know, fighting a boss. And this one was sort of story-related. But, it, you know, come to find out... You know, we're going to have to build up our bond with Antia and uh, sort of learn how to traverse the void and then slowly relinquish the, uh, or slowly get rid of the curse across New Eden. And then we can, you know, eventually take down the, uh, the main evil chick back in, uh, New Eden town. But I'm having a blast with this game, man. It's cool i feel like i every episode something else surprises me i'm i there isn't a it, it, it's not a stale experience i feel like i'm getting exposed to cool things and unique things every time i play this game and um that's why i'm loving it so much but if you guys are, enjoy, are enjoying it smash that like button drop a comment down below subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already it really does help out the channel it helps me out and lets me know that you guys are enjoying this stuff and um you guys want to see more of it but um thank you so much for watching guys it really does mean a lot to me take care stay positive and i'll see you in the next one